I was gifted this old rigid 6 inch jointer a couple years ago. Since then, it's seen a lot of use and is in dire need of a blade replacement. If you own a rigid jointer or a jointer with a similar design, let me show you how easy it is to change the blades. Before we begin, let's talk about safety. The jointer is easily one of the most dangerous tools in the shop, so before you begin, make sure that your power is disconnected. Since we are handling sharp blades, it might not be a bad idea to wear protective gloves. You will also need eye and ear protection for testing the blade alignment. Let's talk about the tools to get started. My jointer comes with a wrench and an Allen wrench already, but if yours doesn't, you'll need to grab one of each in the correct size. You will also need a straight edge, a marker, a screwdriver, and your replacement blades. If you're doing any additional maintenance, a square and some wax are recommended. I will have affiliate links in the description of this video so you can easily find the blades and tools that I used. Let's get started. Step one is to unplug and check that your power is off. Next, take the blade guard off by unscrewing this screw at the bottom and lifting the guard up. Then slide the fence back all the way so you have full access to the blades. At this point, I like to vacuum all three sections of the cutter head as it makes work easier if there are any wood chips in the way. Placing your wrench in the gap between the blade and the cutter head makes it easier to spin. Next, take your wrench and loosen the nuts that are keeping the blade locked in place by twisting towards the fence. Be mindful of the blade. I usually rotate the cutter head below the outfeed table so there's less chance of slipping and cutting myself. Remove the old blade and replace being mindful of bevel direction. I like to mark each blade in a different spot so I can make faster adjustments to the correct blade later if necessary. From here, you can check the blade's alignment with the outfeed table. The blade should just barely graze your straight edge. Anything too high or low will greatly affect your cut, so take your time and make sure you are aligned the whole width of the blade. You can align your blade by raising or lowering the adjustment screws with your Allen wrench. I typically adjust each screw a quarter turn at a time until everything looks even. Once aligned, tighten the bolts back and double check your alignment one more time. After replacing all three blades, test your alignment on a piece of scrap wood. If wearing gloves, remove them before powering up the jointer. And if you have not replaced the blade guard yet, make sure you adjust the fence so only enough blade is showing to make the cut. If everything looks good, you can reattach the guard. Unplug the jointer one more time and place the guard slightly in its slot. Before setting it down all the way, rotate this dial to load up the internal spring. Slide the guard all the way down into the clip and fasten with the screw. This part isn't necessary, however, since we are down here, we can check the fence for alignment and apply a fresh coat of wax to the jointer table. Thank you for watching. If you have any tips or tricks for replacing your jointer blades, be sure to comment below. For now, enjoy these satisfying jointer cuts.